Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is Deep Free. Here today we have apparent news about the Super Gogeta EZA. Apparently his stats, not really, I don't know if the stats in particular were leaked. Well, we'll come back to that. We'll figure it out together. But anyways, apparently the passive was leaked. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Hit subscribe if you're new for more content. Again, huge shout out to Team Dokkan as well for this information. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we go. This is regular Gogeta right here. Now, a lot of us are expecting this man to be very, very good. So, courtesy of Team Doe Connor, he says here, Happy holidays ended. I took over the TAF. I'm not sure what that means. I have no places to see the same, but Gogeta uh, PUI will become in a nuker, so everything is fine. So, he kind of dropped that as an offhanded thing a couple of hours ago. I didn't really, I didn't really like feel like that was worth kind of reporting. Uh, but anyways... 15 minutes ago, though, he did go ahead and drop a brand new part to this. He says, normally to take with tweezers. I'm guessing he's saying to take it with a grain of salt, which is kind of what I did. Um, but it will have attack and defense plus 77% and 7% by rainbow key and, of course, effective against all types. Wow. Uh, the Buhim regen, 14% uh, of his PV at the beginning of the round and 14% attack and defense by 7%. Uh, key sphere. I'm not sure exactly what that part means, but at the beginning he's saying 77% at the start of the turn, which does make him the best Super Gogeta in the game. Uh, yes, Super Gogeta, not Super Saiyan Gogeta, because there is that brand new Super Saiyan Gogeta, but yes, yeah, Super Gogeta, that does make him the best one in the game, uh, especially because he picks up defense. The int one does not pick up defense. Uh, the stat difference between them, and then of course the SA-15 does just put him way above the int one, even though the int one has like 100 or what 120% passive. So, anyways, moving on. Um, he also does say 7%. That's another thing that's crazy. An additional 7% attack and defense per rainbow orb obtained. You can only get a maximum of five rainbow orbs, but that's incredibly uncommon. In most scenarios, you get three or four maximum, right? Um, maybe even two to three on average. So, I mean cool <laughs> but still that's just icing on top of the cake so we do have some calcs here oh that's that's not that i'll come back to that we do have some calcs here um over on the reddit so shout out to Reddit for this one this is assuming that the leaks from doe connor are real uh sample calculation lr goku and vegeta leader skill um so the fusion category leader skill the lr gogeta and then we come all the way down sa15 um 3.4 uh, attack stat. Wow. Additionals and crits are not factored in as well. This card just... Yeah, he says, I don't think there's any argument. This card just came absurdly busted. Please let me know if anyone made any... If I made any mistakes in my cat. Uh, okay. So this is, I'm guessing, rainbow levels. But, yeah. That's pretty crazy. And he also only gave him two rainbow orbs, which is presumed average, which is what I said, two or three in most cases. 3.4 attack stat is freaking wild. That, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, some of these easy A's are insanely good. They really are. Uh, somebody says down here he's worse than Janemba. Uh, and then he also says he didn't do AAs or crits. See, the thing is, he and Janemba are really, really, really good. And they both hit really, really, really hard. So... This is interesting. He's amazing. But again, he didn't factor in additional attacks or crits, so this actually can be a little bit more. So, wow. Now, the reason I had this up was this is something that was floating around, um, like, over the course of, like, the last two weeks. This is on the fan wiki. So, it wasn't official, so I didn't bother reporting on it. And some people have had this on, like, Instagram. I've seen it. Um, I will just kind of go ahead and say I do think that the leader skill will be about this. All types, three key, 60%. Uh, I think that's a good number. It might it might be 70, but 60, I think, is a good number for the way that they handled the game. Uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. See, we don't know the effect of the super attack. That's another thing that could potentially happen on this card. Again, this is not the actual card right here. Um, so when it comes to this guy, Dokiner didn't mention, from what I saw, the any sort of effects on the attack. He might have mentioned it in the comments in here, but I didn't really see it anywhere. But anyways, there could be some sort of effect on the super attack, which would just make him even better, right? Any sort of attack raise. I'm hoping he gets a some sort of debuff 
because that that just seems to be a little bit better uh, for some of these newer units. Or I don't think he's gonna get stunned, but that would be cool for hit. You know, what I'm saying? I I don't know when you'd ever run him on the same team, but just because, man. All right. So that being said, we're gonna come back over here. Um, so if he does do that, that's fine. But this is actually relatively close, which is crazy. Uh, eighty percent attack, which is about pretty much the same thing. Attacks effective against all types and seven percent attack per rainbow key sphere. That's pretty much the same thing. So they were actually really spot on with this. So defense is off, but he was going to get defense for sure. That's just the trend of all the new units. So pretty much, again, to summarize, he does get 77% attack and defense at the start of the turn. It does appear that he gets an additional 7% attack and defense uh, per rainbow orb obtained. But I will mention that the 7% could just be uh, the attack gain as well. And also still keeps the effective against all types mechanic that he had. And then the last part here, Boo Regen, 14% of his uh, PV at the beginning of the round and 14% uh, attack and defense. See right here is where he's mentioning attack and defense, 7% by rainbow orbs. I feel like there's something else in here. Uh, maybe his super attack recovers HP. That could be it. I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, the EZA should be coming out in a couple of days. I believe on the 10th. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, have an awesome one. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.